MongoDB is a NoSQL database and can store documents with different structures in the same collection. You may wish to organize your database by documenting it and by creating validation rules to enforce storing only similar documents in one collection. The DB Schema Database Designer can help you to visualize the MongoDB collection structure graphically, set validation rules, and generate HTML5 documentation. DB Schema has a free community edition available on dbschema.com. After starting the application, we can connect to MongoDB. The driver will be downloaded automatically from the internet. We can choose a JDBC URL. If the MongoDB database is in the cloud, we can choose manually edit the JDBC URL and copy the URL from the cloud console. The URL is the same as the MongoDB Java native URL. After connecting, DB Schema will read the validation rules, or if the collection does not have a validation rule will scan a bunch of documents and will deduce the collection structure. The collection structure will show as diagrams. Get a better understanding of the schema by creating multiple layouts with the same or different collections. Add collections to the layout by drag and drop from the structure tree. Expand the collection by clicking the arrow icon near columns. Edit the collection design by double clicking the headers. Set comments on the collection or fields. From the layout menu, we can export HTML5 documentation with the vector image of the diagram. The diagram vector image is interactive. Read the collection and field comments as mouse over tooltips. We can design new collections. Virtual collections won't get validation rules implemented in the database. Build queries using the Visual Query Builder. Start the Query Builder by clicking any collection header. Tick the fields you want to select. Right-click to set filters. The generated query is visible on the right. Write and execute native MongoDB queries using the query editor. The queries can use the MongoDB native syntax. There are cases when a document is referring another document from another collection using an object ID or other field. We can mark this into the diagram using relationships. DB schema will automatically detect relationships. Relationships can be created by drag and drop of one field over the referred field. The relationships are similar to foreign keys in SQL databases. Exploring data can be done using the Relational Data Explorer. Start the Explorer by clicking a collection header in the layout. If collections have relationships, the Relational Data Explorer can cascade into the child collections by clicking the arrow icon. Exploring the data in one collection will show the matching records from the child collection. The Relational Data Explorer can be used to edit the data insert new records or delete records. DB Schema stores the design model in the design file, separate from the database. You can design switch DB Schema to offline mode, without database connectivity, 
and continue to design the validation rules. Later you can connect to another database and deploy the validation rules. Connecting to another database won't change the design model. After we connect to another database, we can compare the current design model with the database. The design model is an XML file and can be shared with the team using Git. The data generator can help testers to fill collections with randomly generated data. Use reverse regular expressions or configurable patterns to generate random values. Load the data from CSV or XML files into the database using the data loader. Thank you for watching.